Well, these are my top tips for winter carp fishing. First one has to be location. I know it goes without saying you have to find the fish, but there are a few little clues and little pointers that's gonna help you um, track these fish down in the winter. Um, number one, and most importantly, is finding those areas where the fish are gonna sit for the majority of the winter. And in my experience, a big factor in this is undertow. So on a uh, prevailing southwesterly, for example, or any sort of wind that's been rivers for a few weeks, that will create undertow round a bay, round a lake, if it's round, for example, or if it's different shapes, and you will get natural areas within that lake where there's no undertow, and it often that coincides with collection points of silt, leaves, debris on the bottom, and those are areas where the fish will gravitate to and be able to sit and not waste energy fighting against the flow. So those areas are well worth seeking out. And in my experience, winter's gone past for me. I've done very, very well in fishing these areas and applying a bit of bait to those areas as well. More often than not, it can be the middle of the lake because when you get a howling wind, the middle of the lake actually stays pretty stable in terms of uh, the undertow. And that's really, really, uh, really crucial. Not many people think about the undertow, but it plays a massive role, I believe, in, in winter fishing. Um, so obviously if there's any snags in the lake as well, they can often can harbour fish. Again, it comes down to a little bit of safety, particularly if those snags are getting a bit of the sun. Um, that can be a, a, a recipe for quite a few fish tucking themselves out of the way. So they're well worth a check, even all times of year, but particularly in the winter months. And finding those snags with a, a boatload of fish can, uh, can mean the difference between catching a stack of fish and, and none. So moving on to bait, obviously very, very important in the winter, plying bait. I find needs to be done regularly, uh, as often as possible. Keeping the fish's energy levels to a degree up because um, you notice in garden ponds, if you don't feed the fish for a length of period through the winter, they go into almost like a, a torpid sort of state on the bottom. Don't move a lot, don't eat a lot as well. But if you can keep just putting in little and often bait, you're getting the, the, the fish to move, consume, use energy, then that's a, that's a cycle that can continue on. That keeps the fish active, keeps them feeding more importantly. Um, in terms of bait choice, really, really important to use something that's uh, probably soluble, number one, that is. Um, it's got to release those food signals. Couple that with a open texture or coarse bait so it can really freely flow. Um, that's going to help send out those food signals um, and get those fish visiting regularly and eating bait. With our baits, I personally add a, a spice element to it as well. It's particularly in the winter months. That irritates the gut line as, as the food going through transit and that can help push everything along and go in one end and out the other end quickly and that's what you want. You don't want the bait sitting within the fish for lengthy periods, you want it in and out and then to eat more and more and more. So that's my top tips for, uh, for the winter. Get out and find those fish, apply some bait and the results can be spectacular through the winter months. Good luck.